hundreds of people in this gorgeous mansion. I mean, it was packed, right? Everyone's singing and dancing and carrying on and drinking, right? And all of a sudden, Madonna walked into the room. Oh, Madonna. <laughs> I am telling you, you should have seen how the room transformed. All of a sudden, it became very, very quiet. Nobody was talking. Everybody was watching her. Every move and everything she said. It was like she was a little Hashem, a little God that Aww. walked into the room. <gasps> they were checking her out. It was like hundreds of people. Quiet. Quiet. Mm. And I thought to myself, years Back later, there, legend. many years later, <laughs> as I learned about Hashem Torah, I thought to myself, when I daven, when I'm davening, Hashem is in the room. Hashem is right there. He sees everything. I have to stand before the king. So we see how the secular world idolizes these people. People that are really lost. Madonna, all these people are searching they have everything material you could possibly want and dream of. Money, fame, power. And they're empty. They're confused. Madonna herself ended up studying Kabbalah because she was, she needed direction. She needed some help. No matter how much fame and money she had, it, it just made things even more chaotic and worse. And I realized that this Torah was here to guide me, to give me boundaries, because when there are no boundaries, when there are no boundaries like the world out there, it's chaos. Everything is random. There's no meaning, right? But. If I know that Hashem runs the world and everything happens for a reason, every leaf that falls from a tree, every interaction I have with someone, there's a purpose, there's a reason, there's something to learn there. Those guidelines were what set me free. The Derech of Torah showed me. And then, I became liberated when I had the Torah. Now, isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic? You would think, oh, I can't eat lobster anymore. I can't wear pants anymore. I can't go to the mall on Saturday anymore. I can't sing in front of men anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. Why can't I? All of these restrictions, people tell me, oh, 